What's going on guys, Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. I got another how to flay video for you today. This time with a sheep's head that was speared the other day. And the knife that I'm gonna be using today is a six inch curved boning knife. Probably my favorite knife for smaller fish like this. I'll have it linked below so you guys can see exactly what I'm using. The first thing we do, I always like to start at the head of the fish. What we're gonna do is go with our knife into the scales and get from the head down to the belly, okay? These fish have very thick scales, so it's important to have a sharp knife and to also to put some muscle into it. I'm gonna go right here, around the gill plate, around the pec fin, down to the belly, just like that. Once we got that done, tip of my knife, I'm gonna go from the head, along the fish's spine, all the way to the tail. And what we're doing right now is just outlining our fillet and I find this is the easiest way to not mess up is to outline your fillet. Now that we got that out of the way, we go from the head with our knife on the spine the entire time, really press down on that spine and just go down towards the tail using as many strokes as you need. Okay, we're doing that up to the head. And the whole purpose of this, pro of this step is just to get to the backbone, okay? We got to the backbone right there. You're gonna need to break through the pin bones which lie right here along the central part of the fish. And this is why people have a tough time filleting sheep's head and they say it's a pain in the ass. It's because they have a very thick rib cage, pronounced rib cage and pin bones. And so it's important to not try to go through this but rather over it. As you guys see, I went over it with my knife. So once we're over the rib cage, tip of our knife down on the other side of the fillet and we just continue making our cuts. And you guys see that sheep's head have very beautiful fillets, snow white. We continue to do that and that's all there is to it. I don't think that sheep's head are, are hard to fillet. I think that a lot of people, what they have trouble with is when they get in here, when they're here by the head and they feel that knife and it's not going anywhere, you gotta go over this rib cage. Sheep's head are big crustacean feeders, crab feeders, which are, um, rib, big rib cages are synonymous with fish that eat crustaceans. So we got our beautiful filet on that side. Now we flip our fish over. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go into the head, okay, just like this, with the scales. So give it some muscle around this pec fin down to that ventral fin, okay? Down to the tail. And like I said, all we're doing at this point is just outlining our fillet, outlining it against the spine, all the way. You guys see those scales flying off. I'm not kidding, they got some thick scales. So once we got that done, I can take my knife and I can run it along the spine. When I get to this side, I like to go from the tail back up towards the head it's really feeling my knife on that spine at all times. And I do this like with any fillet to get to the backbone. That's that bone that runs along the center of the fish. So once I get there, I can lift this head of uh, flap meat up. And like we said earlier, over that rib cage, it starts right there, not through it, but over it. Very important. You can kind of use your left hand to lift that um, fish up, to lift that flap up, the fillet up. Once you get all the way there, then we can just cut. Just like that. And there you go. That is a sheep's head. So you know, it's cool to look at it after it's flayed to really get uh, a perspective of it. And this is why people don't like flaying them because as you guys see, they don't have a ton of meat for their respective size because of this big rib cage right here. So we look through that fillet, as you guys see, light is coming through there, coming through those bones. So you know you didn't miss a lot. Go over that rib cage, that's all there is to it. Now all we have left to do, I like a little bit of a longer, narrower knife for skinning fish. So I'll start right here by the tail and work all the way up towards the head. Nice long strides. Sheep's head are easy to skin because they have very thick skin. 
this stuff is very thick. So we get rid of that. Now you have a set of pin bones that we broke through earlier that run about halfway down the length of the fish. We run our knife along one side of the pin bones, which also coincides with the uh, bloodline. On the other side of the pin bones, other side of the pin bones, lift this flap up. There's your bones. So now you have a boneless, skinless piece of sheep's head. And I'll tell you what, they might be a little pain in the butt to fillet, but they have some gorgeous looking fillets. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're interested in any of the knives that I use today, like I said, I'll have them linked below. And until that next fillet video, guys, see ya.